I want to show you how to make a simple query in SQL Management Studio and then use that with the depreciation projection in Dynamics GP to create a smart list that you can then export to Excel reports. So let's get started. The first thing I want to do is run the fixed asset depreciation projection in GP. So I'll go to GP, run this projection right here. So I'm going to select a target date, a little bit in the future. And I'm going to select the book that I want to show. So I'll insert that and then run the projection. So what this is going to do is this is going to create the basic table that I want. I'm going to create a view using that table plus some additional information to give the user a better idea of what they're looking at. So I'm going to run this depreciation, then we'll go into Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio and create the query. Here's the SQL Server Management Studio. I'm going to create a new view. I'll just right click on views here in my database. I've got three tables I'm going to pull in. The main table is a depreciation projection. And that's this one right here. FA41900. I'm going to select that, add it to my query. I'm going to add two more tables to my query as well. I'm going to add the general information table to add additional information about that particular asset. And I'm going to also add the book master so the user can see which depreciation book they're looking at. So I'm going to select this one right here. And then here's my book master table. I'll add that. SQL Management automatically connects the tables together. And this is exactly the way that I want it. I'm connecting at the asset index here between the depreciation projection and the general information table here. I'm also connecting based on the book index and the master book table right here. So the next thing I need to do is add fields from these three tables into my query. So I'll select them. I'm going to select the user ID because the projection process adds additional records based on the user. So let's select that. And I'll select the other ones as well. So these are all the fields I'm going to select from my query. You can see the field name here, and you can see the tables from which they're coming. Here's my SQL statements right here. Now let's just run this query to make sure I'm getting the data that I want. And this is the data I would expect to see. I see the user ID. I see the periodic depreciation. I see to and from dates here, and I see the fixed asset year and the fixed asset period, and then some description and the book ID. This is exactly what I want. So I'm going to save this and I'll save that name. So next, let's go over to SmartList Designer in Dynamics GP 2015 and go to the administration tab right here and go to SmartList Designer. And I'm just going to make a name for this and I'll put it in the fixed asset area. So next thing I want to do is I want to look up the view that I just created. If I scroll down and look at all the views in my system, it's going to show me all the views in this company database. Here's a view that we just created. So I'm going to use this view as a basis for my smart list designer. In order to publish new smart lists to ex refreshable Excel reports, you do have to have a view as the basis for your smart list as opposed to tables. So I'm going to use this view here. Let's just execute the query to make sure I'm still getting the data that I want. And this is all the data I want. I'm going to hit OK. So now let's go to SmartList and take a look at that. And here is, this is our new query we just created based on the SQL query. So this is pulling the information I want. And when I select this, you can see that this publish button here lights up. This means I can move this to refreshable Excel reports. So I'll do that right now. And now let's take a look at it in Refreshable Excel Reports. And here's my new Refreshable Excel Report. Let's take a look at it in Excel. Here's the basic data in Excel, but I usually take this and I summarize it in a pivot table. So let's do that. So let's go ahead and build the pivot table. What I want to show is row by row, I want to show each asset and I want to show the projected depreciation for each year and period. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to grab the asset description as a row here. And then the depreciation amount down here is a value. And this defaults as a count. So I'm going to change the value of this to a sum. And also let's change the format. There I go. And then I want to put the fiscal year as columns over here. And we've got that. Now if I want to, I could add months to this. But now it's spread out by year. And I need to add some filters on here because there's multiple records in here based on the user. So the first thing I want to do is select the user ID as a filter. Then also the book. 
So let's set those filters. So this is my basic pivot table. I'm showing projected depreciation by asset and by year. So this is a result. I created a query in Management Studio. I created a new smart list using Smart List Designer. I published that to Excel Reports, and I'm showing it in Excel Reports. So this is one way that you can get data out of the fixed asset projection and use it in Excel.